we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Role Play Fallout New Vegas. In the last one, we finally caught up with the Great Cons in Boulder City, who have been abandoned by their employer, Benny, in order to slip away. Now, they've taken NCR hostages and are holding out as long as they can. Sam, Boone, and Eddie are not interested in abandoning these hostages. However, they're not good enough to speak with uh, the cons. So if we take a look at our options, our sneak is not good. Our speech is just not as good. I don't know if we would be able to kill the cons. And get everybody out. So, I think the best thing to do They've got it locked down pretty well. I think we make our way to Camp McCarran and see if there's anything we can do about getting some reinforcements. Then we'll come back and deal with the cons, and maybe if we, uh, well, get good enough to do anything else about it, we'll do that. What is that? That must be Caesar's Fort across the Colorado. We are getting close. Train station. Ooh. Nasty. Wow. All right. It's not bad. Now, while we're in the area, we might as well hoof it up to Ranger Station Alpha. Looks like it should be just around this ridge. Give them their updated access codes. Well, we might. All we need to do is uh, clear out the beach, maybe. 
if we're hurting for experience. All right, this must be Alpha. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. <laughs> the NCR needs you strong. Do not eat irradiated food. Talk to your medical officer about how you can recognize and avoid dangerous and toxic food. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Well, I'm here to uh, talk with your comm officer, but I figured I'd stop in and talk to you first. So, uh, you're, you're a ranger. For about ten years now. Toughest training I've ever done. And was the proudest day of my life when I got my ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. Good to know. What do you do here, Ranger? Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved on to the dam, this station has fallen into Mora's support role. Any interesting places around here? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly, it's mostly intact, even after all that time. Hmm. Thank you, Ranger. So long. So long. Oh, a campfire. Make some rushing water. Okay. Mixing jet with purified water. Plus 50% of attack speed and our HP. Hmm. I'll do that. Cooking some dog steak. Keep us healthy and fed. Okay. When you steal NCR equipment, tools, and personal property, you are you are his bitch. Huh. Oh. Com officer Castillo. This post isn't some place a civilian ought to be. No, but Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Hope sent me with a security update for your radio. All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Odd uh, that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Yeah. Anything going on around here? Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week, but they always end up floating downriver with holes in their heads. Good. Heard a little bit about what this place is. What's your take on it? Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. Okay, anything else you can tell me about the Rangers? I'm not really much of a historian. The short version is that the Rangers are the elite of the NCR military. Best fighters in the wasteland. You don't know. So long. Don't get killed out there. I don't plan on it. All right.
All right. No. We want speech. Good deal. Like touch. Old Ward Gourmet. Uh, confirmed Bachelor Heave Ho Hunter. Since training. Lady Killer. Rapid Reload. Swift Learner. Cannibal. Comprehension. Run gun. Travel Liability Mass. Hand Loader. When you use guns, you are more likely to recover cases and hulls. You also have all hand load recipes unlocked at the reloading bench. Interesting. Hand loader. Yeah. I think that's good for us. Though... Jury rigging. Repair 90. I think that's fair. Well, let's head on back to uh, Boulder City. See if we can't get those boys out of here. I'm pretty sure there's a lady trooper as well. Let's just get the troopers out. That's what matters. Big building over there. For as long as we've had this nine millimeter, it has served us well. I was just thinking about that. Let's take care of this. Maybe wearing the suit will help us out. Jessup. I'm getting real tired of talking. Good, well then let's settle things between you and the NCR. What's going on about this, huh? Pretty sure I already said we want the NCR to back off and let us out. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR squirt you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. I will, Jessup. I will. Yeah, go on. The 
cons. They've been in a pain. They've been a pain in the NCR's back ever since Sandy Sh Sh Shoals. Shady Sands. <laughs> Though, they're not monsters, I guess. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. The Great Cons let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. Great Cons are free to go. <sighs> what is it? Crazy stuff, isn't it, Ben? Got some questions I wanted to ask you. Okay. Does the name Benny mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Okay. A different question. Okay. If you want. Uh, huh? Anything else you feel about Manny Vargas? He was a good spotter. Yeah, but you were also yeah, friends. We were. Not anymore? When Carla went missing, he was the first person I told. He tried to hide it, but I could tell right away. He was glad. I'm sorry, Boone. Yeah. Hey, Private Gilbert. Thanks for the rescue. Of course. Ackerman? Man, I thought I was dead for sure. Not on our watch. Okay, so with that hat taken care of, we can continue to deliver upgrade codes. Head to the Crimson Caravan, or we can finally make it to New Vegas. Sure is. And here they come. Still got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Yeah, you have fun. Fuck Ben. I'm making a page for seven of them back. That's what I like to hear. The cons are gone. Let's see what they left behind. Cheese. Not really a whole lot. Head out. Hey. I don't remember there being. You didn't really go up against them, did you? But they kept their cool. That's good. No accidental firing. Okay, no time to stop at the Bighorn Saloon. I think we'll stop by the, what is it, the 188, and make a plan of approach from there.
surprised we haven't seen any more of our friends from the Legion. Hey, a reloading bench. Scrap metal to the lead, absolutely. Hand load. All right. Match hand load. GSP hand load. What the difference is. Well, let's break down twenty five of the five five six rounds. We'll do a match head load of fifteen. So we've got the five five six round. Arm piercing, more damage and less spread, or a little bit more split spread. Fancy meeting you here, friend. Victor, how'd you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened over in Boulder City? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Did you see Benny come along this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the Tussle and Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Soft living. Let's get to see you again, Victor. Yep. This is getting mighty embarrassing. People going to start to talk. <laughs> uh, I'll see you, Victor. Pick me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. I doubt that, but I appreciate it. Yeah, he's actually going this time. New Vegas. Well, we may as well convert all of our ammo over. What well, we can, anyway. We don't have a 308 anymore. doing our own ammunition.
Super hand load. Hollow mm. point armor piercing surplus JSP. Better to use our own hand loads in general. That's amazing. Well, I don't have any shotguns anymore. But, I reckon that just means we'll be breaking down our. But we can. some of the 10 millimeter Michelle. Why is this place called the 88? 188. These old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet. And 95 plus 93 equals 188. Nice. Have a look. Yeah, let's take a look at what you've got. I'll take all your ammo. No sense in not buying it, after all. Trade you some psycho for it. Some little bits and bobs. How about that? Gecko egg and hide. Some empty syringes. Don't know what you might get up to with that, but Casador poison glands. Some dog hide. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Bye. Changing your uh, voice there. Yeah? Let's see what the gun runner has. It's been a couple days. Still making a nuisance of yourself. Always. Let's see what you have for sale. Take a look. We've got the forge receiver. I want those cases though. Uh, service rider. We've got that. So you could only really help me out with some oh, ammunition. Well, as great as that is, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah. I think we'll pass. If you need anything else. For sure. Later. Later. What was that?
I wonder what Mr. New Vegas has to say. You're listening to Radio New Vegas, your little jukebox in the Mojave wasteland. I am Mr. New Vegas, and I'm here for you. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Several unidentified aircraft were spotted flying over the rep contest site by a local crackpot. He spoke to a toy bear near one of our microphones. It's ghouls, I tell you. Religious ghouls in rockets looking for a land to call their own. Don't you laugh at me. I know a spell that'll make you show your true form. Cave rat taught it to me. One more story for you. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. The news has been brought to you by the Vicky and Vance Casino. Vicky and Vance, be our partners in crime. More classics coming right up for you, so stay tuned. The sun is killing me. Well, I understand, to a point. The Silver Rush. Van Graaff Silver Rush. Okay, fully charged with no extra charge. We sell weapons. Sounds like energy weapons to me. Okay. They're not playing. Well, neither do we have to, really. Yeah, maybe a hunting rifle is something that we should uh, keep on hand. You okay? Whoa. 12.7 millimeter pistol. Strong, yeah, you and fine by me. Hmm. Hey, Eddie, why don't you uh, hold on to this grenade rifle for me? millimeter and 45 auto so unfortunately the 12.7 millimeter will not be wow that is a strange one Hey, Lupe. Need water? I got water, clean and fresh, straight from Lake Mead. 
If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Uh, are there many water merchants around here? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. I got some general questions for you. Shoot. Anything I should know about New Vegas? They won't just let anybody into the strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just um, keep a close eye on your caps. Okay. Tell me about uh, the fiends. I hear they operate in this area. There are a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really, really get in there and wipe them all out. But I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. Huh. Well, what do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. That's all I want to know right now. Right. Show me what you have for sale, though. Glad to do it. That's a lot of money. If we were living in the NCR. Frag grenade? Pulse grenade? Yeah, that's better. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Until next time. Of course. Oh, but when you know it, we're not going to be going very far. All right. Eddie. You hold on to the sawn off shotgun and the hunting rifle for us. And that pistol. Yeah. Well, there's the air fort. Not airport. <laughs> fort. That's my Karen. Right there. We know about a Vault 34. That's where um, Chris was from. Yeah, the guy who thought he was a ghoul. And then there was that big facility over here. Well... Switch over to the 223 for now. Alright. Maybe we'll head east for a bit. Watch the Colorado. Oh, we could use some big horner meat. We don't want to waste any. Fine by me. I appreciate it. Hunt. Well, 
is this? Oh. Camp Golf. Okay. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Isn't that a thought? Hey. What do you need? Later. Not time for me to go. Yeah. You are a big fella. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Huh. Well, nice to meet you, hand in hand. Uh, how'd you end up in the army? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed the three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. Why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Oh. Uh -huh. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa... My two sisters and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. What do you think of Camp Golf? Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Well, what about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Well, nice to meet you. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> wow. What a weird little place. There's a campfire, though. A whole par five. This place used to be a golf course, I see. Fine by me. Let me access your multi-tools. Nothing. Alright. Well, sun's heading down. We might as well see if there's anywhere we can bunk. See if there's anything we can do to help around here, maybe. Well, this is definitely the command tent. Hello. Broken terminal. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Oh, hell. What is it now? Nice to meet you, Sergeant. How do you like serving in the Army? Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. You joined at 16 and you're still a Sergeant? Yeah, well... I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Point taken. How'd you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. 
These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. Gotten soft with no action. So what do you do now that the fighting's died down? Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Absolutely. Well, it sounds like you're a little disappointed in uh, your troops. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, a kid named Max. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. Well, maybe I can help you whip them into shape. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Well, sure. Yeah, whatever. Oh, well, we can try. Now, I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Are you in charge around here? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. Ha! Huh. So that's I know then. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? Oh, well, how to... Guy like you... Uh, maybe not yet. Tell me about yourself, uh, Poindexter. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. Okay, well, how'd a guy like you end up in the Army? It's a simple idea. The Army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. Great. See ya. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Oh, definitely. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. It's pretty awesome. Oh shit! Here comes the brown noser. What you want? Oh yeah, brown. Great. What's your story, Raz? Much to tell. Grew up out west in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. Well, can you tell me anything about the camp? What do you want to know? Old place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Yeah? Why are you in the army? Shit, man. It was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Fair enough. Do you know anything about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindex was a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy. Ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering. You dig? Well, you sound like a bunch of winners. Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. You take care. Right. I'm probably going to end up needing to talk to you the most. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. It is hot. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. Wasn't easy. Uh, Why would you join the army? I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Really? 
Tell me a little bit about yourself then, Mags. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Oh. Yeah. Well, how come you didn't make it into the rangers? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Uh, sounds like you're not too fond of your squad mates. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Uh, the place doesn't seem so bad. Please. Camp Golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. How'd you get assigned to Camp Golf? Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Not at all. Well, listen. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. It can't be as hard as all that. What needs to be done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. You know what? I'll talk with you about this in the morning. Because I think that, uh... I've already talked to the others, but, uh, not yet. Okay. I'll be here if you come to your senses. Oh, I will after some shut eye. The Misfits Tent. Let's see. Oh, wow. Little to no discipline. They stole a golf flag. Oh, great. Uh, let's see if we can yeah, crash in here for tonight. Good old 11 hours. We'll see about getting them out on the field. Uh, maybe not on a Sunday, though. <laughs> Lazing around Camp Golf. Sam, Boone, and Eddie probably just get some well-deserved rest and some cleaning in their weapons. But, as they bunk down Sunday night, they'll wake up Monday morning ready to help the Misfits train. 6 a.m. Up really before the sun. All right. Wow, the big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? About these improvements. Yes, what about it? I told you, we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Let's get them out to the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. I'm sure. Discipline and training is the way to go. You're the boss. Yes, I am. Pretty decent myself when it comes to firing weapons. I hope we can get them whipped up into shape. Don't get in a hurry for anything, do they, Boone? Think any any promising uh, standouts for first recon? Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? Well, you need to take positions where you can cover each other. 
Stay focused and work as a team. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time. Pick your shots and tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. You need to exile, exhale before you fire. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Right. Exhale. Squeeze. Focus on the shot. All right. I think this is going to go well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? So did the shooting range practice take care of things? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. Well, let's get the troops lined up. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Okay, to start, you need to pull the pin, let it cook off for a count of three, then throw. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Don't pitch it like a baseball, you need to lob it. You want a good, solid arc. Solid arc, check. Lob them up and over, people. Now don't worry about accuracy, use the grenades to break up clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for group squad, hit them in clusters and send them running. I think this will go well, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. Back in our hands. Wow. The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? How's the squad doing? Mags. Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. We can defend it this time. Good. Flags of our foul ups. Shooting guns is real scary, but I think I got the hang of it now. Good job, O'Hanran. While I have already internalized the new skills we have discussed, I feel as though my solution is nevertheless more practical. Yeah, but maybe you'll actually survive in a fight now. Brass? Okay, okay, I admit it. Knowing how to use these guns right is pretty cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Thanks for your help. I feel like we can take on the world. And with your squad mates, you will. Morale isn't the best, but it is better than what they're going through over in Camp uh, Forlorn Hope. I wonder where McCready is. Our Rangers, boom.
Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can help. Thanks for your help. I feel like we can take on the world. It's been a long tour. Where the sergeant went. Medical tent. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Hey, Doc. Glad to see you. Need a patch job? Not at the moment. Sir. Sir. Well, maybe we'll check up here at the, uh, at the resort. Join the Roger. Hobby almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. We can monitor ranger activity all through the region with the systems here. It's good to know. We won't go quiet. Maybe he went to the strip for leave. I don't know. Odd time to Looks leave like camp. Damn time. Yeah, we. Looks like we booted a legion out of Nelson. About damn time. Love the team morality that the Rangers have. Tent, camp golf tent. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Oh, well, I guess it could be in the mess hall. No one's in the mess hall. Wow. But yeah, like I said, that's uh, all the time that we have for today. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in for the episode. After helping out Camp Golf with their training pro problem, I think we'll probably start to head toward McCarran. If not the uh, the Crimson Caravan offices first, though from Camp Golf we are in a good position to go across the river here and probably link up with Ranger Station Bravo, which we may go ahead and do. Though you never know what's on the other side of the Colorado. 
with the Legion right there, the fort right there, it's hard to tell what we'll encounter out here. I don't think that we're ready for anything like a death call, but... That definitely looks like Deathclaw country to me. Is that a train? Hmm. Uh, but, that will be a problem for another episode. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy the story so far, please consider following me here on twitch.tv slash jefftheNarrator469 or if you prefer to watch uh, these pre-recorded that you can always find me on YouTube archiving all these live streams as Jeff the Narrator. We're getting close to Vegas. Closer to revenge. But Sam's really finding a calling helping out the NCR. So even though Revenge may be postponed. He's still helping out his home country. But, as we look on at Lake Mead, that is a thought for another day. So, until next time, as always, keep telling stories. <laughs>